Hey everybody, Gavin Syme with Syme Effects and Photographic School, and today we're going to take a quick look at installing and managing Lightroom presets. So I'm going to jump into Lightroom here. I'm working with Lightroom 5 on a Mac, but that's not that critical regardless of your version of Lightroom or your OS. This process is going to be pretty simple. Now we've done a few videos on this in the past, but I wanted to do one that covered the bases a little better, covered different kinds of presets, and just made this simple and concise. I'm going to pop over here into the develop module with my D key. And you see on the left over here is my presets tab. So I have power workflow and all this kind of stuff in the develop presets. Let's look at that first. One way, and this is the worst way to install presets, is you can right click over here and just click import. And then you can browse to presets, let's say on your desktop and go there and select those presets and click import down here. But we're not gonna use that method. That's okay now and then if you just have one quick preset to bring in, but it doesn't really allow you to manage and organize them. So I'm gonna show you the better way to manage presets and also the way to manage other types of preset like local adjustments and things like that. I'm just gonna go up here to the menu and I'm gonna go to preferences or settings and I'm gonna pop this open and go to the presets tab right here. And right down in the middle, we see the show Lightroom presets folder. Now as a side note on managing, you see that the store presets with catalog option is unchecked. Sometimes this is confusing for people. What this means if it's checked is that any presets you install are only stored with that catalog that you have open. Typically not something you wanna do. In most cases, you wanna leave it unchecked and then whatever catalog you open, all your presets are going to appear. Okay, let's move on. I'm just gonna click the show Lightroom presets folder. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna immediately pop open the folder where Lightroom stores all the presets. And you see it's way deep within my library and there's a Lightroom folder and here's all the different presets. Let's click develop presets and I'm gonna hide Lightroom. And inside develop presets, you see those folders we just saw in the develop panel. Here's the beauty of working with it this way. All I have to do is drag this new classic vinyl pack from my desktop and I'm gonna drop those right in. And now we see it here within develop presets. All I'm going to do now is quit Lightroom down here, and I'm going to restart Lightroom. And there we go, with Lightroom restarted, now on the left in the presets tab, we see the new set we just installed, the classic vinyl presets. But there's more. Oftentimes we get emails here at SimeFX about people trying to install local adjustment presets, like our Elegance 2 collection. And they'll put them in that develop presets folder and then they don't work because they're not develop presets. If I press the K key and bring up the brush over here, you can see all these elegance presets in my local adjustment presets for brushes and gradients and things like that. They're gonna be really handy. How do we bring those in? There's not actually an import button right here. Let's go back to that folder we had open. And this is the one we opened from Lightroom. And if you look, we have the develop presets folder and down here we have local adjustment presets. And in there you see that Elegance 2 folder that I had dropped in in similar fashion to the way we did the develop presets. So the key with presets, and remember this, make sure the presets go in the right folder. And Lightroom has a pretty elegant system with this one folder, it contains all your different presets and you can bring different presets in, local adjustments, layout templates, export presets. And this is a perfect way to manage them, copy them to other machines, and don't forget to back them up. All you have to do is select all these folders and you can copy them to a cloud drive or you can burn them to a disk or something like that. We get emails all the time from people whose computers crash and then they're scrambling trying to get all their presets together. You can take them all from right here and anytime you can just restore them and bring them back in just the way they were. Okay, let's pop back into Lightroom and we see we have all our presets here. Remember, Lightroom is a preset centric system. Presets aren't about making your images look like someone else's. It's about getting that workflow going. Whether you make your own presets or you get preset collections elsewhere, like the ones we make at Sime Effects. So that's how you can manage presets of any kind within Lightroom. Just a quick recap. You're gonna go to the settings, go to the presets tab and click that show Lightroom presets folder to open it up. Once you have that folder open, it really just is as simple as dragging your presets in from wherever you downloaded them to, copying and pasting them in, copying and pasting them out to back them up or move them to another machine. You can manage it all from right here. The key is just to make sure you put the right kind of presets within the right folder, develop presets, local adjustment presets, 
etc. Now, within the folders, you can organize, and you see in my develop presets, I have the presets organized by collection. And when I switch back over to Lightroom, it will see that one level deep subfolder and help me to organize those. And you can have folders within all the different types of presets to help keep you organized. Depending on the type of preset it is, it may or may not show the folder hierarchy within Lightroom, but it will see the presets. In fact, if we switch right back over here, we see in my presets tab here, we have my folders that we just saw. We can rearrange and organize out there. You can also from within Lightroom click and you can drag a preset into another folder and move it. You cannot, however, click and rearrange the presets because they're all organized alphabetically within Lightroom. So that's one of the reasons when we design Sime effects presets that they all have good naming conventions so they stay organized and tidy for the sake of workflow and you can do that however you want. But that's pretty much everything you need to know about installing and managing your Lightroom presets. Hope it helped you out. That is all for today. Take care.